Let's learn how to create groovy text SVGs for print on demand in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. First things first, let's get my groovy font. So my CC account gives me access to Adobe fonts. So I'm going to use a font called Hobu, which is one of the Adobe fonts. However, if you don't have access to Adobe fonts, there are plenty of other options. You can try Google fonts, you can try a service like Dafont, or you could pay for premium fonts with a service like MyFonts. Remember to always check the license to make sure you have commercial usage rights and also the scale at which you can use the font. So let's come back to Adobe fonts. I'm just going to add Hobu to my Adobe font family. Press OK. And now let's come in to Illustrator. In Illustrator, let's come to File New and we'll create a basic web document. Remember, this is an SVG. It's fully scalable, so we don't need to worry about specific dimensions the vendor can take care of that. Let's click create. In the new document, let's grab my type tool and let's click on the canvas to create some point type. So type out your slogan. So I'm gonna go with groovy girl vibes. So let's start with the top line, which will be groovy. Select it with selection tool. Hold alt or option and shift to scale this up. And let's use a combination of my character and paragraph panel to center align this and change the font to my groovy font. So let's look for Hobu. There it is, select, and there we have it. Let's just drag this to the center here. Now let's create two duplicates of this. So hold out with the selection tool selected and then click and drag out a duplicate and do the same to create the third. Next, go to view, rulers, show rulers. And let's just click and drag out two rulers onto the canvas that line with this top bit of texture. And what we're going to do is try to line up the second and third lines of text so it all falls inside the same dimensions. So let's click and drag this one down here. So the second line is girl, so let's use type tool. And then select with selection tool. And again, alter option and shift, click and drag up. And let's try to get this in line with the lines as much as we can. And then selection tool to pull it down. And let's do the same with the bottom line of text. So select it, type tool. Let's type out vibes, select with selection tool. Again, scale this up in line with the guides. That's about right. And then let's just click and drag this up to a roundabout here. I go to view, guides, high guides. I can turn these off. And once I'm happy with my arrangement of my groovy text, selection tool, highlight all three, right click, create outlines. With this selected, object, envelope distort, and make with mesh. You can decide how many rows and columns you want. I think four and four works fine. I think the more rows and columns you add, the more complicated the shape gets. We only want that simple wave, but you can play around with this. I'm gonna keep four and four and click OK. And then use your selection tool. And now what we're gonna do is pull these anchor points up and pull these ones down to create that wave effect. So let's select this one. Hold shift to select the one below it and keeping shift held, select the third one. And then let's click and drag these up as such. And now let's do the same with these three. So select, hold shift, select the second, select the third, and let's click and drag these ones down. And you can hold shift to keep this in line. And to make the wave effect even smoother, with it selected with selection tool, we can use these anchor points here and adjust them accordingly just to get that wave effect nice and smooth. Change these ones here as well. Again, I'm doing this very quickly. You can take a lot more time than I am. So play around with it until you're happy. Once finished, select off. So there's our final SVG groovy text. Let's use selection tool, click and drag over it to select. Come to the artboard tool here and click, and then under artboard, select fit to selected art. And now we're ready to export. So go to file, export, export as. Set to save location. So I'll just put mine in my generic images folder. Set your format to SVG, use artboards, range one, that's good. And let's just call this groovytext.svg and click export. Your font should already be expanded, but convert to outlines just in case. Leave everything else as it is and click OK. So let's locate our saved SVG. There it is, right click and open with Illustrator. And there's my SVG file ready to be used. And if I want, if I select these individual lines of text and I right click and ungroup, I can then get the individual letters here. And remember this text is fully vector, fully scalable as such. 
so it can be used for any print product at any dimensions and also colors changed and things like that. And there you have it. It is that simple to create groovy text SVGs that you can use for print on demand services. I really hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.